Yeah, yeah, probably a good, good word. Um, been in that position pl plenty of times and haven't sealed the deal. So, um, so yeah, not getting the win is very disappointing because it, you know when you put in, when you've got effort and you've got intent, um, yeah, you want to get some reward as a competitor. It nourishes you. So it's a good little feeding mechanism to keep you going. So, and uh, we're probably falling a bit short of getting that. How much of an impact was Joel's injury so early in the effect of the rotations? And was that a factor in it? The boys just tiring. Late? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it probably was. But you know, it took away a tall. So that that uh, that probably just hamstrings you a little bit. I mean, they had a lot of contested marks. So I'd have to have a look back at the vision to be able to see where where they were. But you know, there was a couple of late moves that they made that um, seemed to work for them. Obviously, John Cock going forward late was uh, pretty important. He won a couple of pretty crucial balls. Um, you know, that, that set up a couple of things there for them. But yeah, that was um, so. The, the Patful one, yeah, was we're unlucky to get it, and you don't want it as a coach. I don't, I don't think it was the it wasn't the deciding factor. No. Is there a broken hand? Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, well, at this stage, yeah, that's the diagnosis. So we'll get the X-ray and see whether that's actually what's happened. What do you do now to rebuild them ahead of next week and fourth game against the Gold Coast? Oh, we'll probably emphasise that. I mean, our, our, our season's about trying to finish strong. When we got into the bye and we got into the break, it was about uh, probably a couple of things that we looked over the last month and saw 75% of the things that are going well and the 25% that isn't. It. And uh, and I guess the 75% was um, you know really encouraging. You know, but the 25 is not finishing off a quarter, and uh, and it's also about us being able to finish off the season. So, you know, that's that's been our primary focus coming in for the last five weeks was to be able to do that. And there's some big games for us coming up, and one of those this is is this week. So we'll, we'll get over this, and we've got to get over it quickly, and we've got a six-day break. So um, we'll review it like every other game, but uh, you know, we'll pretty move we'll move on pretty quickly in a six-day break. You've got it. What do you think went wrong in that last quarter? Or did you control the large portion of the match? Uh, well, was, I guess the distance of the, I mean, our run certainly dropped away considerably. So that, if there's one single factor, I'd say that that would be it. Um, you know, and, and just when I say about run, uh, probably more the ability, the way we still wanted to move the footy just dried up quite a fair bit. Um, you know, we tended to sort of just sort of stay straight a lot as opposed to, you know, move, move them around a little bit. And they certainly did. I mean, they come back inside so many times. You know, it's going to be hard to watch the vision and see it just happen over and over and over again. So um, that made the game played long, as opposed to, and you know, so it was bit end to end. And then in the end, they were just stronger and running at the end. And, and considering it's our conditions and our home ground, that's a bit disappointing. But so it's a very raw side. Uh, at the same time, how much of that boils down to just pure youth, basically? Ball use? No youth. Youth. It's a pretty raw side out there. Oh. Uh, I think there's minimum expectations that you have with with us, and you know, yeah. While there's there's younger players out there, I I, I still think that there's always standards that you got to try and achieve out on a footy field, and and uh, and one of the expectations you can is you can still run. So no, I, I don't I don't think that that's, a, that's an easy chop out. I think. So that's a, some mental fatigue as well as physical fatigue. Probably, but I mean that's something that we've got to be able to be able to look at. And again, I think that for me. There's a, a real disappointment in that small period that we're giving opposition, and it's a real disappointment. Um, but you know, also what I like is that throughout the course of the whole season, not just period of this game, we've been able to get a large parts of the games right, but we've fallen away badly in one part of our game. And so we've got to keep emphasising the habits that are required, and whether that's um, the age of your group or whatever that is. The fact is, is that that's what we've got to keep emphasising. So. Well, I think that I think what you're asking, but I'll, I'll answer if I'm wrong. Then, uh, um, if you want to find out something else, but I mean, it's from us is about being able to stay in the contest for the whole game. I mean, if, the, if that's the Patrick Dangerfield being able to not have your day and still be able to do something um, towards the end that contributes to the result, you want every single one of your players to be able to do that. And we had players that were trying to do that. Um, but certainly for him to be able to not have his day, if you want to call it, but still make a contribution in however small manner and however late the actual um, it is in the game, you know, it's pretty significant. Well, the 
you're saying that, the, that they, um, the last quote I read you right, that they physically got a bit tired, is that, is that, is that because is, is whether the mental fatigue? I don't know, it's not, not tired. Everyone's out there tired. Yeah. It's not, not tired. Thing. It's not a pre-season thing, it's not the way they're trained or the way they No, they're, they're fit play. enough. They're absolutely fit enough. They are fit enough. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All our results say that they're fit enough. So it's got nothing to do with that. It's got to be able to, do you want to be able to grind it out? And can you think your way through it? When the game's on the line and results haven't gone our way, so you can sometimes get a little bit desperate and think you've got to do more than you should and perhaps go away from what we were doing in the first place. And I guess that's probably one thing that I've seen um, that's come out that we've sort of just got to keep our heads a little bit through the last quarter. I desperately want to win these guys. You've you only got to look in their eyes at the end. They desperately want to win, but sometimes you just got to have clarity of thought when you're going through that last quarter. Do you just play a little safe, obviously? Is that what you sort of mean as well there? Like in that last quarter, you can't think your way through things? Just... Yeah, probably, yeah. It probably closes down a little bit, so that's something that, yeah. Yep. Yeah, a little bit safer, stay a bit straighter, as opposed to just keep doing what you're doing. Well, what did you make up with Neil Craig when he's here at the weekend on Friday? I did, yeah. That's great. Is there something developing there? Or... Other than discussion at the moment, that's as far as it's gone. So, um, yeah, it's good chat to him, and hopefully something can be worked out in the few, um, down down the track. But at this point in time, it's just chat where he's at, and hopefully he can come involved in our footy club if it uh, if it fits uh, for both parties, and it'd be good to have him on board. But that's for yeah, obviously a fair bit to go there. What's appealing about why have you come to him, and what do you think he can offer? Oh, I think it, the big statement for us as a, as a footy club is that we we want to be able to, well, as a city here, and we say that we've come on the loss, that the, everything that has been in the last 12 months is being a mandate to make sure we become the best again. And so if that means getting quality people to our to our club, quality coaches to our club, then we're going to look for it. So uh, while we might be in a fairly low ebb as a footy club in terms of where we sit on the ladder, um, there's a fairly strong internal drive right now about being able to get back to be the best. and. If that gives an opportunity by personnel that we can get that, then we'll look for it. Is there a reason why you've gone to him? Is it just because he's come available? Or... Oh, I think his expertise speak for themselves, yeah. Yeah, over a long time, yeah.